Hi guys, I'm Tati, I'm an editor, and in today's video we're going to be explaining all the plugins that I use, why I use them, and why you can use them too. I always say that I cannot show you guys how to get free plugins, it's against YouTube's policy. I wish I could, not really because I hate getting plugins, and I probably would not teach it even if I had to. Other you guys DM me how to get it, I'm going to be honest, I see them and I don't respond. I'm just not a plugin person, okay? I literally get amnesia from every single time I've had to download plugins onto After Effects. Because I've had to do confusion stuff, so I've had to do it a couple times. I get amnesia every time, I don't remember anything, I don't remember how I did it I just know it's on my computer thank god you know what I mean so yeah I can't do that however people were asking what plugins do I use what do I use them for and I was like that is a video I can get behind okay I can tell you guys the ins and outs of the plugin and what you can use them for what style you can achieve with them and yeah so before we get into the video and the explanation let us roll our beloved commercial hello there like most editors i have a pay hip now granted most of the things on my pay hip i already have tutorials on my youtube channel for however if you're lazy or just want to support me i have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip that includes my popular glitch style pack my shake pack and even colorings plus more if the prices are too much for you you are not obligated to buy it but if you do thank you so much and enjoy this is an all you need to know about plugins video. This is the only video you'll ever need to understand plugins, which ones you'll need, and which ones you should have it for. To start this video, I'm going to show you guys different styles and must-have plugins for these specific styles. And I want to say this is just how I do these type of styles. You may need more or less depending on how other people do their style, but this is just how I do it as always. I just show on my channel what I do. So first, we have regular TikTok style must-have plugins for this is Magic Bullet Looks, Twixter, Sapphire, and BCC. This is just your regular, you you know zoom in blur tiktok style edit that you kind of see all over the for you page typically next we have basic tiktok style the must-have plugins for these are magic bullet looks twixter and sapphire this is just simply blur and coloring i would say maybe some flicker um very basic no zooms no text nothing next we have shake tiktok style so the must-have plugins for these are magic bullet looks twixter twitch sapphire and bcc this style is basically just you know lots of shakes and in the same regular tiktok format style that we all Always have. Next, we have glitch transition style. Must have plugins for these are Magic Bullet Looks, Twixter, Twitch, Sapphire, Glitchify, and Deep Glow. So it's just its own style of glitch transitions. You kind of know, you kind of see the example. Lastly, we have must haves for transition style, just regular transitions Magic Bullet Looks, Twixter, Twitch, Sapphire, and BCC. Okay, so if that's the only thing you needed from this video, just need to know what plugins to download real quick, you don't care about further explanation, then you can click off the video right now. But if you care about why you need certain plugins, over others or and you want some other plugins that i didn't mention on those lists and keep watching so magic bullet looks is a plugin that i had on every single style magic bullet looks is just providing coloring to your edit you see that's very bland right now just regular show coloring let's say i added my coloring called forest it completely changes the scene and the vibe of the edit now some people say oh you don't need magic bullet looks to make colorings i think that every good coloring i've ever seen on an edit it always has magic bullet looks sure there's alternatives looks will always be the it girl plugin like this is just something that you i think is imperative to have next plugin that is on all of the styles is twixter so some people don't like dealing with twixter when i was first editing twixter and me were not best friends okay i struggled with twixter every single day of my editing life before maybe like three years so you may be wondering like can i just use time remap it's so much easier right so i'm going to show you the differences if you chose to do time remap if you chose to use twixter they just both have different vibes and i'll tell you why one is better than the other so we have time remap so you would basically double click the frame blending and then click on motion tile so this is how it would look if i were to use time remap not bad at all actually pretty pretty good must i say but let's see if i added my twixter preset so I have my twixter preset i changed the frame rate this is what twixter on the clip looks like so this is time remap this is twixter time remap twixter now which one should i choose tati i would say if you want more control over the movement and the length and the smoothness and etc twixter is the way to go i mean look at everything you can alter with time remap it is solely going to be based on one your fps and your graph for the time remap mostly editors use twixter and as far as like copy and pasting the twixter to each clip so you don't have to keep redoing the time remap 
every single time. Twixter is more convenient. I do enjoy how time remap looks. I use time remap for, I'm kind of giving you like a slow-mo lesson, okay? I don't need to do that. So you can decide if you need it, you can decide if you don't up to you so now we're going to talk about a common plugin that was also in here which is sapphire so sapphire has so many effects i can't even tell you you know like how much it has there's s flicker to make the flicker on your edit there's blur mode curves that's how i do my very smooth zooms and those are like the main ones that i use sapphire for i i could ignore like all the 100 effects in sapphire and just download it just for those two s flicker and and blur mode curves. I use blur mode curves for every single transition edit. Usually people use transform if they don't have blur mode curves, but blur mode curves, it's once again for me about control. I can control the motion blur or just different things about the clip. And it's also about convenience. Like if I want to copy and paste a certain shake to another clip, I can't do that with transform as easily. So Sapphire is like your best friend. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of good effects and most editors have Sapphire. The next one that's also pretty common and I would say is in competition with Sapphire is BCC. BCC is also once again a plugin that has a thousand effects within that one plugin. Same as Sapphire. Now I don't find myself using a lot of BCC effects but the one that I say is a must-have is BCC OBS Blur. That is how I get that very smooth blur with my zooms and my TikTok edits. It's essential. And I get compliments on this all the time. Um, also, there's some effects BCC has that I use in my colorings, like BCC Fast Film Glow. Um, but I also say that BCC takes a lot of like maintenance. Like for some reason, when I use a BCC effect, it takes a little bit longer to render than if I put on like Sapphire or something. So is BCC essential for like that one effect it is? Yes, but otherwise, maybe not. Next, one of my favorite plugins that I can't live without, but maybe you can depending on your style, is Twitch. Twitch is specifically just a shake plugin, I would say. Um, I've gotten lots of compliments of my shakes over the years. The shakes that people typically compliment me on, I usually have always made them through Twitch. If you don't like the whole like figuring out how to make shakes with transform or set, like just get Twitch. Shakes are a bit harsh, but again, you have control over the settings to make it more like, neutral. But if you're looking for that like very harsh, aggressive shake style or glitch style or jug, I love Twitch. So depending on the styles, you just don't really want to take the time to figure out how to make shakes otherwise. Twitch is so simple and straightforward. I want to talk about a plugin called Deep Glow. Deep Glow is very important to me. So let's just say I am adding text like this. And then I'm like, wow, this is very boring. I want this to light up a little bit. Oh my God, light from heaven, it's so bright. But this is going to make your text glow. I use Deep Glow every single time I use text effect. It just makes it less boring, it makes it less bland, it brightens, it's amazing. I've seen lots of editors use Glitchify. How do I use Glitchify? I mainly use it in my one frames. I don't really use it for like long-term clips, like if it's going on four seconds, five seconds, it's mainly just used as a one frame. So if I added it here, as you can see, very glitchy, right? Used for like intros or nice effects. I don't know, it depends on your style. Even as a glitch style editor, it's not the first thing I would like recommend. It's amazing, it's great for like small details, but there's other ways you can make glitches. There's other ways you can make one frames. Next plugin we have that's not talked about a lot, Omino Diffusion. Omino Diffusion, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this effect right here. Once again, glitch editors, you'll love this. One frames, amazing. And then another one is probably the Universe plugin. Universe is probably the hardest plugin I always have to get for some reason. This plugin is like high in demand around the world. I don't know. But every time I need to get this plugin, it is a struggle. To be honest, I haven't used Universe in months. Um, There's just like that one to two effects in here that I reach for every blue moon, but I'm not gonna lie, it is not essential. One thing that I really, really liked when I used uni was uni.vhs. Back in 2018, this was the it's girl effect, okay? Look at that VHS, the vibes, depending on your style. Back in 2018, the girls would kill for this, okay? I would add it to my friend's edits. It's a great effect, but um, I don't find myself using it a lot these days. But the Universe plugin has a lot of good effects, I can't lie. Next plugin is Element. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have this just for funsies, just for 3D edits. If you're a 3D editor, get this immediately. But if you're not, and you don't plan on doing cool 3D tricks or anything in your edits, you don't need this. Like, you really don't need this. And even then, you can make 3D objects without 
element so don't lose your hair over it if you really can't get it um it's a lot to learn as well it's very overwhelming um everything else as far as like bcc and sapphire there's many 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 more effects in there that are amazing depending on your style so i highly do recommend sapphire or bcc or both um but as far as plugins go those are the plugins that i use somehow i've always ended up needing every single plugin that you kind of see on the list at some point in my life um, because I've done so many different styles over the years. Kind of never, I'm not like, you know, strict with my plugins. I kind of just downloaded it as I see fit. But as far as for like everyday plugins, Twitch, Twixter, Sapphire, BCC, Magic Bullet Looks, those are the top five, like the ones you repeatedly saw in the beginning of this video. Those are like genuinely what you need. The rest I mentioned are just kind of fun extras and they're style dependent. Um, So you don't need to like, be strict on yourself as far as getting those and now you can get back to regular tati hi guys welcome back from the video how was it well that sounds awesome um thank you for any purchases on my bay hip and thank you for sticking around the channel i really do love you guys and you guys know my socials hopefully y'all know i i don't want to always say my socials okay thank you guys so much i'm grateful thank you for the subscribers and always sticking with me and yeah okay love you bye i want to start saying toodles but i feel like somebody already says toodles